Okay, question 15 says solve the following equation. 3x squared plus 4x subtract 10 is equal to 0. Now, it says give your answer to two significant figures. If it says give your answer to two significant figures, two decimal places, one decimal place, etc., you should be thinking quadratic formula. This is a quadratic, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. You should be thinking quadratic formula. There's no excuse not to get these three marks. Go to the front of your formula booklet. It even gives you the formula. You don't even have to remember it. Now, the way I show students to do this, just to make sure you make no silly errors at all, the first thing I'd like you to do is I would like you to state your a, b, and c. A is the number in front of x squared, which is 3, b is the number in front of x, which is 4, and c is the number term, which is negative 10. Make sure you get the negatives correct, okay? Because it's of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, so therefore we must know it's plus negative 10. Now, first things first, work out b squared minus 4ac. Save yourself problems with your calculator. Use brackets when substituting. b squared minus 4ac is 4 squared. Subtract 4 times a, which is 3, times c, which is negative 10. You must get that right, okay? Which is 16, and this turns out to be uh, plus 120, which turns out to be 136, okay? And now we can just substitute into this formula. x on the one hand is negative b, which is negative 4, plus the square root of this here, plus the square root of 136, all of that, remember all of it over 2a, over 6, or x on the other hand is negative 4, subtract the square root of 136, all over uh, 6. Students think that it's only the square root bit over 2a, it's the negative b as well. And then it's just a calculator exercise, to type these in your calculators and make sure you give them to two significant figures. So what we'd have, we'd have negative uh, four plus square root of 136, all of that, make sure you put a brackets around that, all of that is over six, and on the one hand, decimalizing that, you would get 1.2769, and on the other hand, if you wanted that to be a subtract, you would get yourself negative 2.6103. Now give your answers to two significant figures. To two significant figures, this is 1.3, and this one here is negative 2.6, both to two significant figures. And we're done for the easiest, probably three marks on the paper, if we just follow the simple structure.